Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So we're out on the training pitch nice and early this morning. We're gonna go through a fitness session. So this particular session was designed by a Premier League sports scientist who works at Newcastle United. I got the chance to sit down with him, get an insight into how Premier League players train. If you haven't already seen that video, I'll put a link to it on the screen right now. Lots of insight to take away, so make sure you check that one out. But we're gonna go through some interval work today. So interval work is work periods followed by rest periods. And the rest period is gonna get shorter and shorter throughout the session, so it'll get more intense. So this is a great way to build your football specific fitness and get that boost ahead of pre-season or even at the start of pre-season as well or anytime during the season if you want to just tailor this and get that extra boost in your fitness. So we're going to get into it just before we do I want to say a huge thank you to Football Supplements for sponsoring today's video. Football Supplements have been fueling me throughout my season especially with Kickoff. So Kickoff was designed by some of the leading sports nutritionists in the world who work with professional clubs such as Atletico Madrid. It's used by players of the highest level all around the world and it has key ingredients such as caffeine, L-citrulline, which not only gives you a mental focus, but it can also help you increase your endurance, get more oxygen around the working muscles so you can perform for longer at your peak. So I've been using it, I've seen huge benefits from using it daily, 30 minutes before my session, get a scoop in my water and I feel focused, energized, ready to go so I can enjoy a nice intense training session and get the most out of my training. So if you're interested in checking out Kickoff, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box down below, as well as my very own unique code so you can get a discount off your purchase. I'd really recommend it. Check it out in the description box below. But we're gonna get warmed up and then we'll get right into the fitness session. So we're all warmed up and ready to go. We've got the course set up and I'm gonna stay mic'd up through this so that I can guide you through an entire round so you know exactly what you need to do when you get to the pitch. Definitely recommend having some water available as well for those rest periods so you can stay hydrated. And I'm gonna write down the exercises, put them in the description box, as well as pin a comment so you know all of the rest periods, all of the distances. So again, you know exactly what you need to do when you get to the pitch. So we're working from box to box to begin with. There's gonna be four phases for this fitness activity. So first phase is 18 to 18, and you've got to get there in 15 seconds. Not quicker than 15, but you want to pace yourself so you arrive at the opposite box in 15 seconds. And you're going to rest for 15 seconds, and then you're going to repeat that on the way back. So every time you go from 18 to 18, that's one, and we're going to repeat that eight times. So it should be two minutes of work, and then you're going to rest for 15 between them as well. So two minutes of rest by the end of it. And then we're gonna rest for a full two minutes to prepare for phase two. So phase two is from the 18 to halfway and back. You've gotta get there again in 15 seconds, rest for 15 seconds, and then we're gonna repeat that six times. So same distance, but there's an added turn in it now, so it's gonna become a bit more intense. And now we're only gonna rest for one minute and 30 seconds, so 90 seconds. And as you can see, we get more intense as the session goes on and also we reduce that rest period. So it's gonna become very tough by the end of it. Then after that rest period, we're gonna go into phase three. So starting on the 18 yard box, we've created a gate that's 20 steps away from the 18 yard box. You can see the two yellow cones there. So we're gonna go up to the gate, back to the 18 and then to the halfway line. Again, we wanna get there in 15 seconds. Then I've created another gate on the opposite side. And you're just gonna repeat back to the starting point and you're gonna do four of these. Again, 15 seconds of work with 15 seconds rest in between each one and you're gonna do four. Then we're gonna rest for one minute, so 60 seconds. Then the final phase is from the 18 yard box to that 20 step gate there and back twice in 15 seconds. And you're gonna rest for 15 seconds and then repeat that two times. So it's gonna be very intense. It's a short distance with the change of direction and you have gotta get there in 15 seconds. So this should be teetering the line between anaerobic and aerobic. So we're gonna build that match fitness in a very football specific way. So I'm gonna get the timer set. Make sure you've got a watch so you can time everything. 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So I'm gonna get the watch ready and we'll get right into it. So starting here, first phase, eight rounds of box to box. Here we go. Okay, so I'm already a bit too quick. Got there in about 12 seconds. So I'm gonna get a little extra rest. We wanna pace it so we're arriving in 15 seconds. Five more seconds rest, so I need to slow it down a little bit. And we'll go three, two, 
one, off we go. Perfect. So that last one was exactly 15 seconds. We're resting for 15 and we've got a few more to do here. So five seconds and then we'll go again. Off we go. So the pace is pretty spot on now. So it's not too bad to begin with. Should be able to get there in 15 seconds, no problem. Five, four, three, two, one. Off we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're halfway there. We've got four more to do. 10 more seconds rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Off we go. All right, we've got the pace sorted now. Here in 15 seconds, every single one. That's what you wanna make sure you're doing. Not going too hard too quickly, because we've got a lot more to get to. Two more. Last two here, then we get a two minute break. Four, three, two, one. that breath back, go in through the nose, out through the mouth. Whew, nice and deep. Five seconds rest. Two, one, last one. Three, two, one, perfect. So that's eight done. So that's phase one complete. I'm gonna rest here for two minutes, get a sip of water, and then we'll get in phase two. So not too bad to begin with, but don't be forward. Definitely gets more intense, especially if you repeat this a few rounds, you'll be feeling it. Make sure you get a sip of water. Don't chug it though, because it'll be very uncomfortable for the next phase. Just get a little bit in, in between each. All right. There we go. We're resting for a minute so far, so we've got one more minute rest, and then we'll get into phase two. So phase two is halfway and back in 15 seconds. So it's the exact same distance that we just did, but now we're just adding a change of direction. So obviously when you change direction, you have to slow down, then accelerate again. So it adds a couple of seconds, so you have to run a little bit harder. Just rest here and get your breath back. So of course, this is used by Premier League footballers. So you know this is a good test of your endurance and a great way to build it. 30 more seconds here. Almost, a little under. So I'm already breathing heavy as you should be because your body needs to get that oxygen to the working muscles. That's how they function properly. 15 seconds rest. All right, five seconds, and we're into phase two. Six rounds. One, off we go. A 
that's pretty spot on, maybe one second too quick, but as you can see, we have to increase the speed slightly. So that's one down, we've got five more to go. 15 seconds rest. Five, four, three, two, one, off we go. That was pretty spot on. 15 seconds exactly. That's what we want. Pace yourself. So as you can see, I'm taking long strides as well. It's not quick acceleration steps. Just trying to get that bound in. Here we go. One. Spot on again. That's great. So we're halfway there. Three more. Here we go. Two. One. Off we go. A little bit quick on that one. Got to slow up by about a second. We've got two more to go. 10 seconds more rest. Get a little bit more challenging now, which is what you want. Last one of phase two. Perfect. Okay, so that's phase two complete. Now we get 90 seconds rest, so a minute and a half. And now it's short, short, long. So out to that first gate, back to the start, then to halfway, and that's one rep. We're gonna complete that four times, 15 seconds rest in between each one. Just under another minute here. Get your breath back. As you can see, it's interval work. So very football specific. You're not always running at a constant speed in football, high bouts of intensity, followed by rest. And we're always changing direction, changing speeds. So this is great. 15 seconds more rest. Then we're into phase three. Five seconds. So here we go, short, shot, long, four reps. Okay, that's a couple seconds quick on that one. Just means I get a couple extra seconds rest, but we need to get that pace right. On that first one, it's all about gauging the pace. Then after that, you wanna try and be consistent with it, hitting that 15 second mark. Five seconds rest. Here we go. Getting a little bit quick, so I'm getting there in about 12 and a half, 13 seconds. So we're just gonna take our foot off the pedal a little bit. It's supposed to be a cardio, not a sprint workout. Here we go.
perfect. 15 seconds on the money. Last one. So each round gets shorter, but more intense. Two, one. Okay, nice. Phase three complete, one minute rest now. And then it's out to that first gate, back, gate, back in 15 seconds. So this one will be pretty intense to finish off. We're just doing this twice. Should be breathing at this point. <laughs> we were breathing a little while ago though, weren't we? Ten seconds. Here we go. Again, a little bit quick on the first one. So we just got to ease off the gas a bit. 10 seconds rest. We're just doing two here, remember? Here we go. Here we go. Last one. All right. All right. So that's one round complete. And what I like to do here, rest for a full five minutes and then repeat this two or three times, depending on what phase of the season I'm in. So if I'm before preseason in my off season work, trying to build fitness, I'll do three, four rounds of that one. So that workout took about 13 minutes, a little under to complete. So that includes the rest periods also. So of course, if you repeat that three times, it's gonna take you a little over 30 minutes, somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes. Pipe down, Siri. So obviously that's a good workout if you go for those longer durations. If you're in season and just looking for a little boost, you can do these at the end of your technical sessions just for that little extra running. And as you see, it only took 13 minutes. So it's not too bad at all if you're only doing one round. But again, increase the rounds if you're in off season, getting closer to pre-season and you need that extra boost in your fitness. So hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna cool down and I might do one extra rep of that one after a five minute rest. And then we can get some technical work in as well. But we're gonna end the video here. Just wanted to show you a little fitness activity that you can do that's being used by Premier League footballers as well. So of course, this is gonna be very match specific. It's gonna help you with your fitness. I know quite a few of you are about to go into pre-season or maybe even start it right now. So here's something you can take anywhere. As you can see, you don't need this equipment. If you're working with a full size pitch, just a little marker, at least for those first gates there, you could put a shoe down or something like that. And we're just working on the pitch. I like to do all my activities on the football pitch. I think it's good for your mind just to get used to running around the football pitch because essentially that's where the fitness is gonna count. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Take that workout away. Again, I've linked it in the description box as well as the pinned comment. So you can put this in your notes and try it out for yourself. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mouse, mouse, mouse.